hello friends in this video we are going to see what is a java interface and simply java interface is uh, one day methods with uh, no body that means it can have only methods an interface is uh, full of methods and none of the method is defined inside the interface that means the interface contains only the declaration of the methods. Unlike abstract class which is half, half implemented, interface is fully abstract. So in our previous example, we saw that uh, car class has half implemented methods. That means the service method is not implemented and other methods are implemented like print and pit stop service. So those two methods are implemented but service method is not implemented. So that's why we call that as a half implemented class. So in case of interface none of the methods are implemented. That means an interface is fully abstract. An interface can be created using interface keyword. The interface is also called as a contract. So just like how we mark a class as abstract, here uh, there is no class keyword at all. Uh, we define uh, interface with the interface keyword. Just like how we define enumeration with the enum keyword, we will define our uh, uh, interface with the interface keyword. So people often call an interface as a contract. The class implementing the interface will use the keyword implements just like extends in terms of inheritance. So a class can actually implement an interface. That means the class will define all the methods declared in the interface. That means it will provide implementation for each and every method in the interface. So if a class implements only few methods of the interface, then the class should be an abstract. Optionally, an interface can have fields, but that field must be public, static and final means an interface can have constants. When we explored the final in this video series, we saw how to define phi. That means an yeah, interface can have a constant like that. One interface can extend from another existing interface. Just like inheritance, class B extends class A and class C extends class B. Here if you see class C is extending class B but B is already extending A. The same way an interface can also extend an existing interface. Unlike inheritance, a class can implement more than one interface. We previously saw that a class can extend only one superclass but in terms of inheritance a class can have multiple interfaces here is an example for icircle interface if you see the keyword interface marks the icircle as interface the scope is public So the interface has a static field phi. As already told, an interface can have a field, but that should be public final. And it should be static also. Here the static keyword is uh, missing. So it is good to have a static keyword so that we can define it as a constant here. 
So it has a two interface function, one is a circle area and another one is a circle perimeter. Phi is a supporting field, but the two functions are part of the contract. Here is one more interface called I square. Here we have three contract functions. Let us say how your class implements the interface. So here we are going to define a circle class. If you see the implement keyword public class circle implements I circle. That means this class circle is implementing the interface I circle. Circle signs the I circle contract. So we can say it in two different ways. We can say the circle is implementing I circle interface or we can say the circle is signing the contract defined by the I circle. So since it is signing the contract defined by I circle, it should implement the method exposed by the I circle. Remember I circle have only the declaration, but here we will provide actual implementation or definition of those functions. Circle has only one field and a constructor and the field is radius and there is a constructor to initialize that uh, radius. Since it signed the I circle contract, it implemented both the contract methods. The methods are circle area, circle perimeter. These two methods are defined in I circle. Now we implemented these two methods. To implement these two methods, we need a radius. So we declared a field called radius. Then radius should have some value assigned to it. So that's why we created a constructor and radius is given as a parameter and we use that parameter to initialize the internal member radius. So with these two numbers, one is the data member and another one is the constructor. So with these two, we can implement circle and circle perimeter. That's how we fulfill the contract defined by the I circle. So the contract can be shown pictorially as follows. So the square here shows the actual class and the bubbled line shows that this class is exposing an interface called I circle. That means part of this class can be accessed through I circle. Part of the class in the sense is it, it signs the contract. The part here is a circle area and circle perimeter. So only those parts can be accessed outside world using the I circle interface. Using I circle interface, we cannot access the field radius even if it is a public. Or if there is any other public function, we cannot access it. Circle on top of a square class implementing both the interfaces. If you see here, we have one more class which implements both the interfaces. You can see implements I circle I square. That means that this class is implementing both the interfaces. Note how the interfaces are separated by comma. So you can implement a number of interfaces, but those interfaces need to be separated by comma. This class has a two field, one for square and another one for circle. So the radius and the side are the two fields. The radius is to fulfill the contract of I circle and the side is to fulfill the contract of I square interface. Since it signed both the contracts, it implemented the methods from both the interface. If you see, it implements square diagonal, square area, square perimeter. So these three function blanks to I square. 
and this three function depends on the field side similarly there are two more function that belongs to i circle since this class implemented both the interfaces it needs to fulfill the contract given by both the interface so it implements all the five functions so the constructor actually takes the two input parameters radius and side and it initializes the internal members so below is the representation of this class um, circle on top of square this is the class and if you see it exposes two interfaces so through i circle you can access only the functionality offered by i circle that means you can access only circle area and circle perimeter through i circle but if you have i square you can access a square diagonal square area square perimeter functions but through i square you cannot access circle area circle perimeter or other members in the class the same goes for the another interface also i mean the other interface also so here if you see first we created a circle object on the right hand side you can see new circle of 10 so first we created a circle object so the circle object is in the heap then interface i circle refers to that heap location so in the left hand side if you see i circle is the interface and the reference is circle since the reference type is i circle it can access only the functionality defined by the i circle so the circle implemented those function only those two function can be accessed through circle reference so in the below two system dot print statement you can see how circle is calling those two methods first we are calling the circle perimeter function then we are calling the circle area function and then we are printing those in the console output window next here if you see uh, here we are creating circle on top of a square so that's the object we are creating and we are holding the reference in the same type that means we are holding that in the circle on top of square itself interface i circle type refers same location implicit is implicit cast is done here so if you look at here circle equal to shape the type of shape is circle on top of square so that's the type of shape reference uh, type is circle on top of square but the left hand side is actually the i circle reference so what happens is since it is app cast java automatically performs that type casting so after the set casting actually we are using the circle reference to print uh, the circle perimeter and the circle area so the circle on top of square implements both the interface but through this i circle reference we can access only the method that belongs to circle we cannot access method that belongs to i shape or method that is specific to this class and not part of the circle i circle okay let's move interface demo let's move to interface demo in eclipse and we will explore okay first we will create a project so so this is our project next we will create a class
so we need a public static workbench so we are checking that after that we are creating the class okay now we will create our uh, first uh, interface so our first interface is i circle um, the screen time will be generated by java eclipse so we will just copy the body and we will keep that in a clipboard so this one we already saw in uh, powerpoint slide let's uh, create the i circle interface what we have to do at present i am creating that in a default package right click on it then click on interface okay the interface name is uh, i circle so that's the name we are giving here i circle then we are clicking finish so this will create an uh, interface skeleton then we can place our uh, body here so you can see one interface is ready which has uh, two members i mean three member uh, two is actually the contract one is a uh, field So next we will create the i square interface. So the interface name we are giving it as a i square. After that, we place our uh, contact function in this. So at present we have uh, two interface, one is I square and another one is uh, I circle. Now we will implement this uh, interface. So first we will create a class. So this is our uh, class name, circle and interface is i circle so here once i type two letters it gave i circle from default package so this is what we want to implement so i'm clicking add here click ok and the interface box now shows i circle interface so the class name what we are creating is a circle and it belongs to default package then the interface it implements is i circle so once i click finish so it shows an error because since it signed the contract and so far we haven't implemented any of the functionality from i circle it shows that error so what we can do we can click here and choose add unimplemented method so i'm clicking here actually double clicking there so it added skeleton for those two unimplemented methods so what we can do now we can start implementing these methods So first we will put a private field under constructor. Next we will provide implementation for circle area and the circle perimeter. So the formula is pi r square, that's what we are returning here.
next circle perimeter is 2 pi r so we are returning that here in the next function so if you see this class doesn't have any error we implemented the circle so it has one private member one constructor then these two method blanks to the i circle contract so i circle just defined these two or just declared these two methods and these two methods are implemented by the circle class since it implements i circle it signs the contract and hence it implemented those two methods here now we will implement the other class here the class name is a circle on top of square we'll create a new class and the class name is a circle on top of square this time we are going to implement both the interfaces so what i am doing and clicking I circle is already there so I'm clicking that but this time instead of clicking ok I'm choosing add then I square also I'm selecting and I'm adding it then I'm clicking ok and you can see it implements both the interface I circle and I square circle on top of square is the class name that implements I circle and I square so once I click finish we will get a skeleton code and as usual we will ask to implement unimplemented methods add an unimplemented method so if you see please see the definition for all five methods so square diagonal square area and square perimeter are from I square interface so the last two functions circle area circle perimeter is from I circle interface so we will implement this method before that we will add the field and the constructor Next, we will implement each method one by one. For now, I will delete the content. Or we can directly do a copy paste for all this method. So actually we can type the body since I already have the code and just replacing and if you see here we have overridden all five methods. Now we have all the classes ready circle on top of square is ready as well as circle class also ready the circle class implements only one interface i circle and circle on top of square implements both the interfaces i circle and i square now we will create the instance and study how interface behaves so first what we are doing we are creating a circle object So we see here first we are creating the circle instance in the heap then the heap storage is pointed by a circle reference and the type is interface i circle so now let me go to circle again and if you see here circle has radius a constructor 
circle area and the circle perimeter but through the interface i circle we can access only circle area and the circle perimeter or because these two functions are part of the interface i circle so we can access only circle area circle perimeter implemented by circle class we can access this function and circle perimeter this function so here in the system dot print line you can see that circle perimeter and the circle area functions are called through circle reference and the type of that circle reference is i circle next we create an instance of a circle on top of square and this heap location is now pointed by shape and the type of shape is again circle on top of square next what we are doing we are handing over this shape to circle and the type of circle is i circle so we are handing over this shape reference to circle also so now there are two reference to that heap location one is a shape that points to this heap location and another one is circle that also points to this same heap location so here what happens is since shape type is a circle on top on top of square and circle is top in the hierarchy this is a app cast and since it's a app cast java automatically performs this uh, casting but because we are holding the reference type circle on top of square in circle the type is i circle so it's a app cast so java performed that app cast for us now in the below piece of code after that we are calling circle perimeter and the circle area so through circle reference we can call only these two members and through i square in snippet 6.2 if you look at i square square equal to shape the same reference this time we are handing over it to i square now i square can access methods specific to that i square so since the circle on top of square signed contract for both i circle and i square it have functionality for both of the interface but through the interface you can access only the functionality that belongs to that specific interface that's why in snippet 6.1 we can able to access circle perimeter and circle area through i circle interface we cannot access other functionality apart from these two function similarly when i hand over that shape to i square interface i can access the functionality offered by i square interface so we are making call to square perimeter square area square diagonal but if we use the shape directly that means through shape reference also you can call the function since the shape is not belongs to any uh, the type is actually circle on top of square we can access all five functionality here through shape interface or through shape uh, reference that's all uh, we will keep a break point here and explore this so first we are in a i circle so this will create instance of i circle then that heap location is pointed by i mean the first we are creating the circle object and the object in heap is circle then we are pointing that circle through i circle interface 
Next through this I circle interface reference circle we are making call to circle perimeter. So that prints the perimeter of the circle. Then we are calculating the area and printing that. After that we are creating instant uh, instance of a circle on top of a square. Then we are handing over that reference shape reference to circle. If you see the ID is 51, that means both are pointing to same location. That means this shape as well as circle, both are pointing to the same heap location identified by the ID 51. That means they both are referring the same location. Now we are making call to circle functionality through circle interface. Next, we are pointing the same location ID 51 through I square interface reference square. So this is also pointing to the same location, but this time we can access functionality of a square. All right. Let us uh, look at the intelligence here. And since the type is I circle here, first let me show if I put a shape dot, I can see all five functionality here square diagonal, square perimeter, square area, then circle perimeter, circle area. If I use a circle reference, only the function offered by that interface can be seen here. If you see here, we are seeing only circle area, circle perimeter, but here we are not seeing the function that belongs to I square. Now, If I go to square, the intelligence shows functionality that belongs to square, square area, square di diagonal, and square perimeter. And here we want to here we want to see the functionality offered by I circle. So that's all here in this uh, video. Thanks for watching. Bye.